Right, RC Addict here. So there's so many videos about GPS return to land showing, yeah, okay, it works. But they don't show the settings. So I'm going to show all of them. Part one, getting the correct hover value. So simple. Here's an easy way to show you how to get a hover. It's windy. Okay, so we're going to get a proper hover value. My camera isn't on the drone. Remember that, okay? Because that will alter the hover value. Acro minus 55. Acro minus 54. Minus 54. Minus 58. Minus. So before we can do this, we've got to set our radio up to speak the voice of the hover value. So we go to models. And then logical switches. And then we say if A is greater than X... So throttle value is greater than minus 96 or less than that, minus 100 if you want. Then speak the value. Then LO. Then LO3. Play value every two seconds of the throttle position. So the throttle. So this will give the value. Minus 55. Minus 55. Minus 58. Minus 53. Minus 57. You can see minus how it gets flying about. Minus 55. Minus Minus 55, 54, minus 55, 54, minus 58, 53, minus 52, minus 53, minus 53. So in Beta Flight 4.4.0, return to land mode, my hover value is 1235 microseconds, and that's what I'm sticking to. All right, I'll see you in part two. GPS, satellites, and the configuration should be a lot quicker. I see. I see. Addict.